Hello, I'm Peter Wells, one of the port chaplains uh, from Portsmouth. Uh, I actually live on the Isle of Wight and uh, I'd like to share with you a little message. Please watch. How many disasters mark the passage of history? But does anybody know what became known as the known as the great disaster the great disaster of uh, the year was nineteen twelve yes I'm sure you've guessed it it was the sinking of the mighty of the mighty Titanic, that unsinkable ship. Let me just try and sketch up as we remember the pictures of her sliding beneath the icy waters off Newfoundland. Maybe, just maybe, I can help you steer away from an even greater disaster. Yes, here she is. But the first thing I would like to say is this. This was the ship they claimed that even God couldn't sink. There was one lady who knew differently. Although forced to accompany her husband uh, on this voyage, she couldn't sleep at night because she said, if anybody dared challenge the Almighty in such a barefaced way, they were asking for trouble. The God who holds the life in our hands, who are we? say that he couldn't do this or couldn't do that. Pride is deadly and you know what? It affects us all. 
number two. Little things matter. According to Captain Smith, the iceberg that caused the loss of 1,500 lives was just one of those little things just broken off from the main icebergs further north. He didn't think it was worthwhile heeding the warnings. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you of a little thing, a little word that you might heed the warning. Let me put it on the sketchboard. Just a little three letter word, sin. And you might think it's, it's not important, but I would like to tell you it's most important. God regards it as important and it can cause disaster even in your life and mine. Sin, the things we do wrong, the things that we, uh, when we rebel against the God who made us, who hold our lives in his hand, little things matter. Number three. Life is uncertain. You know, the, the um, people in the first class on, on the Titanic had paid the equivalent in today's money of over 50,000 pounds for what was promised to be the voyage of a lifetime. Within a few minutes, many of them were wondering whether they'd ever see dry land again. And 1,500 of them didn't. Ladies and gentlemen, life is uncertain. And the, we don't know what lies ahead. The Bible tells us that our lives are like a vapor. James says it, like a vapor, appearing for a little while and then disappearing. Life is uncertain. Number four. Is destruction is inevitable? No. Destruction is avoidable. Destruction is avoidable. Listen, those who acted quickly got to the lifeboats. It was a tragedy that there weren't enough lifeboats. But a greater tragedy was that the first lifeboats that were launched were half empty. Why? Because people didn't realize the danger that they were in. Ladies and gentlemen, do you realize that you might be in danger from this little word sin? Because none of us knows how long we've got left. And maybe it's time to act quickly. Even today, the Bible says that today is the acceptable time. Today is the day of salvation. What does that mean? There is some great news. God has dealt with the problem of sin. 
and he's dealt with it by sending his only son, Jesus Christ, into this world in order that sin might be dealt with. The punishment for sin and the wrong things that you and I have done might be taken. And today is the day to... to open your heart to Jesus Christ, to allow him to come into your life, to take away your sin, to give you a new life that'll last forever. Is this for you today? Are you feeling that maybe your life has been a bit of a disaster? The Lord Jesus wants to change things. Let me finish with the, the closing uh, uh, as the anxious relatives waited outside the White Star offices in, in New York. The company issued lists of the passengers that sailed on the Titanic. At the head of one list was this word here. You know, in the final count, everybody who sailed on the Titanic was either in one list or in the other. God uses the same sort of words about the final judgment. There will be those who will be saved through faith and trust in Jesus Christ and what he has done. There will be those who have lost and refused to accept God's way of being saved. Which group are you in?